Hi guys, John here with SP California Bushcraft. I hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, we are checking out a pocket survival guide. I was issued a tag by another fellow YouTuber named From Point A to Point Z. And um, he issued a tag asking me to go ahead and create a pocket survival kit and what I would carry in that particular uh, pocket survival kit. So today I'm showing you my pocket survival kit that I actually carry in my pack from when I am going to work. Because, you know, sometimes I might not have my EDC bag with me, so in my car, it's not with the plane where I'm traveling to. So I can keep this particular kit in my in my backpack. So if you recall, I did a review a while back on the free uh, fuel line tactical pack. I changed to a different pack that I now use for when I go day hiking. I'll do a review on that later on. But getting to this particular kit and this particular tag challenge from point A to point C, um, this this person asked me to go ahead and create a pocket survival kit based upon what I have in my kit. Now, I do recommend you do uh, go ahead and subscribe and check out his channel. He does do, he's just barely getting started on YouTube, but he does do some good gear reviews as far as like modern stuff and also he does a lot of like just simple gear that he has or stuff that he has purchased. So that's actually pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and get started here now as you can see right here in front of me is my personal pocket survival kit that I will keep in my in my kit when I'm going out when I when I go to work every day and I keep this in the backpack when I need it if for an emergency situation and what I carry in this kit is basically very simple the unit that I'm carrying in this particular that I'm carrying my kit in is an outdoor products protective hard shell case and this is a water resistant case this is a very nice very well built now a couple of other things I also uh, do like about this particular one too is that the fact that it is water resistant waterproof and plus two built it's got a uh, touch latch so it makes it very easy to go ahead and take everything in and out of this particular unit so uh, one of the items I do carry and this is an item that I actually do carry on me every day for everyday carry is a folding knife and that's this one right here this is the charade SCHF 221 BK if you check out any of my videos I did a video review on this particular folding blade, this is a very nice one. I keep carry this one with me every day. Let's go ahead and talk about the contents of this particular kit, and let's find see what's inside of it. So we're going to go ahead and pop the latch open. First item you see right away is going to be a paracord bracelet. This is about 20 feet of paracord, and as you can see, it does fit my wrist very very easily. Second item we also do have as well is some water purification tablets to to um, help with water. I've also got a star flash sinkling mirror with the Morse code instructions on the back. I've got a small flashlight runs on one double runs on a double A battery. Very bright flashlight indeed. Also, too, it's got some very aggressive gym, um, teeth on the front of the flashlight. It's a good thing to kind of, if I have to bash someone's head, God forbid I would have to. Double A battery. Fire starting material, cube of wet fire. I've also got a small multi tool. Uh, this is by Sierra Mountain Guide, and this is a very nice multi tool. Many of the tools on this particular device, on this particular multi-tool is access on the outside of the blade, on the outside of the tool. So you do have a Phillips head screwdriver. You have a bottle, a can opener, an awl. And then there's also a, if I can get it, there we go, nail filer. 
On the other side of the, the, of the tool, you do have a straight edge blade, flathead screwdriver with a bottle opener, Phillips screwdriver, then you've also got a serrated, a serrated blade, and you've also, and then you have your pliers and then wire colors. And the beauty about this particular multi-tool, spring loaded. Very useful. Second thing I've also got here, small roll of duct tape. Good fire starting material, good repair material if I need it. Also good bandage material as well. I've got an Ultimate Survival Technologies Mini Ferro Rod and Striker. Does and strikes very well. Next item I also have too. Small dry bag. Can be used to carry water. And also if necessary and if I have to, an extra way to carry uh, these items to keep them protected from the elements. I've got a stick of fat wood here. Again, fire starting material. And I've also got a first aid kit in a purse in a um, in a steel canteen. As you can see, it's got the first aid symbol. Basic items you have on this: six bandages, uh, one by threes. You've also got uh, one one two inch large safety pin. You have one one inch small safety pin. Six small bandages, four butterfly bandages, two spot bandages, um, two knuckle bandages, five antibiotic wipes, three seam relief wipes. You have a razor blade, and the ten of course is reusable. And you've also got 40 waterproof matches that are available for fire lighting. So yeah, this is pretty much my basic pocket survival kit. I may make some changes to it later on. I'll definitely see how this does for me. And but for with what I have in here, I mean it's pretty basic and pretty simple. Obviously, there'll be extra items that I can carry in my pack that I use for when I go to work. I'll talk about what's in that pack another time. Uh, all in all, I do like how this turns out. This was actually a, a fun challenge for me. I have never actually created a pocket survival kit before, so this was actually a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and put everything back here. So, so you got the tin, dry bag, fat wood, fire rod. I'm gonna move this, the tin down here a little bit. Duct tape, pocket tool, battery for flashlight, wet fire, flashlight. Mirror, star flash mirror, paracord wrap, and of course, iodine, um, my iodine water, water, water tablets for water purification. Let's go ahead and get this closed here. There we go. And of course, last but not least, my knife. So that's pretty much my pocket survival kit. I like to thank I like to thank from point A to point Z for this tag. This was actually a lot of fun, and I do greatly appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and tag uh, three more channels. Uh, first one I'm going to go ahead and tag is Luke and Susan from the Outdoor Gear Review. I want to see them create their own pocket survival kits and see exactly like what they keep in their kits. And as far as their channel is concerned. Their channel is fantastic. They do a lot of great gear reviews. Most of the stuff they do is modern. However, they do include some bushcraft in it, and I do like their I do like their page very very much. I think it's a lot of fun, and a lot of the stuff they do is very serious, and it gives and it gives you a great gear review of what it is that if it's something you want to buy or if it's something you don't want to buy, it's 100% up to you. Second person, I want to go ahead and set a tag to for this is going to be MCQ Bushcraft, Mr. Mike McQuinton from the UK. 
The uh, reason why I, I'm challenging Michael is because he does a lot of great bushcrafting. His channel is awesome. He's really done an improvement since he's been on YouTube and a lot of what he has is really, really cool. And also I'm kind of curious as to see what kind of a bushcraft kit or what kind of a pocket survival kit that he can create with the items that he has in his possession. So I'm definitely interested in seeing that out of him. Um, the last YouTube channel I definitely want to go ahead and tag for this pocket survival kit is, uh, let's see here, There's, there are a couple of them that I'm currently w w working with right now that I have on my channel right now. Who do I want to go ahead and send this tag to? You know what, I'm going to go ahead and send this to this final tag to Corporal's Corner. Uh, Corporal's Corner, the gentleman that's on there is an ex-Marine. I, I have high respect for anybody that serves in the military because um, I have, my grandfather and my uncle were both in the military. My uncle was a Marine. My father, my grandfather, not my father, my grandfather was in the Army. Also, too, um, Corporal's Corner's channel is very, very unique and he does a lot of great different types of bushcraft skills as well as gear reviews on some of the stuff that he carries as well as like what changes and challenges he does for himself and he'll also initially these particular challenges to himself as well so guys I thank you very much for joining me for this video I appreciate the views your comments and support please rate comment and subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already Thank you again for joining me today, and again, another special thank you from point A to point C for issuing this tag. We greatly appreciate it, brother. You all have a good one. Be safe, stay strong, enjoy the outdoors, and have fun. Thank you. Bye.